An important part of shot production in badminton is the way the lower arm works. A lower arm rotation is used to get power into the shot through speed in the racket head movement. The basic hitting technique follows through into all the shots in the game. In order to get the maximum power into a hit, we must optimize the racket head speed. To do this, it is important to start with an angle between the racket shaft and the lower arm. We can see here an example where the player has the angle between the racket and lower arm. In this slow motion sequence, notice how the player's lower arm rotates so that at the end of the shot, the racket face is pointing away to the right. This movement of the arm is called pronation. The power transferred into the shuttle is the result of this lower arm rotation. We can see the same thing on the backhand. Exactly the same as the forehand, except the rotation is in the opposite direction. We call this movement supination of the lower arm. it's important to see the angle between the lower arm and racket and notice the circle or loop drawn by the player's racket in the air before impact with the shuttle. In this demonstration by Jens Olsen of Sweden, Power through racket head speed is brought about by the rotation of the lower arm both on the forehand and the backhand, and not by the wrist. In order to understand the way we hold the racket, the grip, in different parts of the court, we shall see this grip from six different points on the court. Three on the forehand and three on the backhand. A good starting point for correct shot technique is to have the correct grip. See how the racket head is more or less square to the net from all positions on the court. When I strike the shuttle, the racket head is square to the net to impart maximum power into the shot. Notice the small grip change here at the net. On the backhand, it's the same. Square to the net in the rear court. A thumb and finger grip in the mid court. And at the net, we can clearly see the thumb supporting behind the back of the racket. In singles, the long high serve is very important. I try to place the shuttle as far back in the court as possible and near to the centre line to cut down the angles for the reply. I vary my serve by not only serving high but also a low short serve in singles, especially if my opponent is far back in the court maybe as a surprise tactic. I use a full body rotation on all forehand strokes when I have time.
This body rotation involves a turn of about 180 degrees around the body's own vertical axis. This rotation helps in at least two ways. As well as getting more power into the shot, I can return to my central base position much more quickly. I twist my body backwards as I move backwards in the court and then forwards as I strike the shuttle and return to the center. The forehand clear is a stroke which I use in the rear court on both sides. power in the shot comes principally from the lower arm rotation and partly from the body rotation. It is important that I optimize the racket head speed to hit the shuttle all the way to the back. I must try to get behind the shuttle to get body weight power into the shot as I move to the point of impact. Timing is important here. The smash is a variation that I use when playing from the rear court. The basic technique is exactly the same as for the clear. I try to strike the shuttle out in front of the body to hit it down on the floor as fast as possible. By making the technique exactly the same for the smash and the clear, I can make the shot deceptive so my opponent cannot tell which shot is coming next. It is important to get behind the shuttle and move into the shot while reaching up high to maximize power and steepness. Power, steepness and accuracy are key factors in executing this shot well. The drop shot is my third variation of the shots I play from the rear court on the forehand. Instead of putting all my power into the shot, I slow down the racket head speed just before the point of impact with the shuttle. To get a deceptive drop, I must make sure that my preparation technique is exactly the same for the drop as for the clear and smash. I go up and prepare for the drop just as I do for the clear and smash and then reduce the racket head speed before impact, brushing the shuttle to land just over the net. Notice how the player prepares with a big body rotation and then slows exactly as she hits the shuttle. <laughs> 